Juan, go ahead. Let's hear so, what you're uh, looking for. Some of the games that I was looking forward to seeing some uh, gameplay on. The first one is Dark Souls 3, man. That's going to be on the floor. You want me to play that? Yeah, man. I, I, I'm, we don't have to play it, but <laughs> give you some kind of impressions on it because uh, I've never played any of the Souls games. I no. never have. And I, I just, you know what, decided, fuck it, I'm going to get Bloodborne. And I loved Bloodborne. I sucked at it. I was horrible at it, but I loved it. And uh, so, in Dark Souls Three, it looks to be a, a lot more, a lot faster paced than Dark Souls Two. Not quite Bloodborne pace, but it's it looks a lot faster paced than than uh, Dark Souls Two. And it's also st uh, stated to be the last in the series, both Souls and Bloodborne. So that's also well, really intriguing. Yeah, I think Bloodborne is considered a Souls game, even though it's not. Well, he, uh, I think the dude, uh, I think his last name is like. I don't know. It's he, Japanese. He, yeah, the, the the creator of it said that he wants to take a break from like all things related to Souls and Bloodborne. Yeah. Which is fine. Like, um, like some, I guess people might They're be pissed off about that. They're probably but, fatigued on it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why. That's why I, I think like a lot of games they should only make three and just move on to something else. They sometimes maybe, not even. Sometimes just make one. Oh yeah. Yeah, but I mean. We all want The Last of Us too. We're That's gonna... actually the game I was referencing, where they should just keep it at one. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you know we're gonna get to. Yeah. Makes too much financial sense, right? But I mean, that that world that that world is huge. So, I think like if they did make a second one, I would rather it be the same people like Ellie and Joel, but they could mm -hmm. go they could they could do something else. Yeah, because I want to know. I was I want to know that because I know. Spoilers. She she fucking knows. That he fucking lied exactly. to her. Exactly. I want so to. I, I want to see the aftermath. But anyways, Dark Souls three. Brian, you have any interest in Dark Souls? Yeah, I played the original um, Demon Souls. Yeah, mm -hmm. I did. I did too. And I, I played, like for like three hours. I was like, oh, fuck this shit. Never played it. <laughs> I beat it, and then I beat New Game Plus Plus or something, and then I was done. So you never I, played none of the Dark Souls? No. After that, I I, I didn't feel like I needed to. I can respect that. I can respect I mean, that. After that, it was like, you know what? I don't ever want to play. This was the best game I'd ever played. I beat it like three times, getting harder each time, and then I was like, you know what? I don't. When the next one came out, I was like, why? You got your fill. That's. I mean, that's that's perfectly respectable. That's, I wish more people would do that. That's why people get burnt out on games because they just like, you know, uh, more, 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 and then you don't really want more. You're just. Uh, yeah, oh, just saturating going through, yourself. Just going through the motions, yep. See, mm -hmm. I, I think it kind of depends on the games, because games, like, like how much iter iteration was in them games from sequel to sequel? I have no idea, because I never played none of them. But some games, like, like, like if you look at the Uncharted series, they got better each time. Mm -hmm. You know, because well, they added mechanics, or they was able to do a little more, they got a little more juice, a more power out of that engine. For, from videos I've seen... Demon Souls, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, and Bloodborne all look very different, but mm -hmm. the dark, but like the sequels of Dark Souls don't so much. Yeah, they add like new features here and there. But so the main reason why I'm interested in it is because I do want to see like, is he gonna pull out all the stops, knowing that this is gonna be his last entry in the game? Maybe the series will continue, but it won't it, be it, it, awesome. it will. It will. Bandai yeah. Namco is going to continue it with something else, and Sony is going to find another studio to make Bloodborne. But mm -hmm. you know, I'd probably, I'd probably pick it up and just play it just to see. You know, mm -hmm. you try to just get back to it just to see. But, yeah. So yeah, that, that's that's the first game that I would uh, throw out there to see if you were. And impressions on. Yeah, if you get on down list, I think the next one's for the Vita, for the Vita owners out there, myself included. Exactly. Vita. So, so, so me next, okay. We'll just go through all my games. Yeah. All right, this Juan time. Okay, so yeah. Uh, um. Yeah, the, the next game I was going to bring up was Severed, which is uh, the game by Drinkbox Studios, the guys mm -hmm. that made the best Vita game I've played, uh, which is Waka Melee. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, they also uh, did Mutant Blob Attack or Mutant or whatever. Never played it. Never it was played fun. It. it was fun. It was a fun little game. But uh, so... Severed looks really cool. It's a first-person dungeon crawler. Yeah. Uh, completely touch-based, which might turn some people off. But, you know, uh, I trust Drinkbox because Wakamele is literally 
the best non-Metroid, Super Metroid game I've played, other than probably Axiom Verge. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. I'm like, really like, excited to see what that do you mean, game. What do you mean touch-based? Like, how would they do that on the PS4? They, they could, oh, it's a Vita yeah. game. Yeah, it's a Vita, it's a, it's a, just a Vita game. It's, it's, and... That's another reason why I'm interested in it is because it's one of the oh, it's just few a Vita true... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's one of the few true Vita exclusives that's actually going to come out. It's not cross-buy, cross-play, nothing. It's oh, Vita okay. only. It's like it's like uh, how's that Ninja Fruit? What that was that game? Fruit Ninja. Fruit Ninja. Yeah, where you just like slice. Yeah, but okay. it, it looks really cool, and it's, and it's uh, drink box, and I do the Vita right. Like, and uh, it's it's got like a Skyward Sword uh, kind of view to it, where the enemies are gonna have certain defending patterns, where so you have to swipe, you know, to uh, according to how they're defending. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, so oh, that sounds really it, cool. It, it's called Sever, so, so you're like cutting. Like limbs off, body and, parts off, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, so like, say there's this boss that has like really big arms that are doing ton of damage. Attack those arms, and eventually you'll get the arm off, and then you don't have to worry about that. So it it seems really cool. Everything I've seen about it looks really cool. And and, and it, it, I'm really me, intrigued in it. Yeah, I'm to not me, sure if I'll play it, but I'm really intrigued by it. To me, it kind of reminds me of like like some old old ass computer RPGs where like you have like where you can spin your character completely around, and you have to choose a direction to go. That's what it like, is, yeah. Old school dungeon crawler. Yeah. Okay, okay. With touch controls. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. If, actually, if I could compare it to anything, it'd probably be Infinity Blade for those iOS owners. But, anyways. Uh, mm. Which, which this game is probably going to come to the phones after some. Right, right. Yeah, videos. definitely. Definitely. Uh, so, yeah, ne next on my list, I've got uh, Tricky Towers, which looks amazing. This game, I actually do have a very big interest in buying. It's uh, basically a tower building game. You uh, you have a certain amount of time to build a tower and it's, uh, you know, competitive so I'm, I'm sure there's going to be like, you know, stuff impeding you on your way to do it but it's really cool. It's like 2v2. Two, two two. It looks I, really good. It's, I'm, I'm super excited to see what it's all about. Is it two v two? Well, I did see four players on the one video I watched. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it, it could probably... I don't, is it is that all it is? Is two v two multiplayer? Oh no, yeah, you can also. I, I guess I'm looking at screenshots here. You can also do one v one v one. Yeah, so yeah, so that, that that looks. I mean, everything about this game looks awesome, and I can't. Well, what, I mean, what if, do you, if it has, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to look at. What do you do? Now, so uh, you got like these little um, Tetris-looking Tetris blocks. blocks. Well, Tetris yeah, blocks. <laughs> you got to work cooperatively with somebody or by yourself to stack these blocks all the way up to reach a certain line. And uh, okay. it's it's a race, you know. So you gotta see who's the first person that can reach that that line. I got you. Okay. okay. So it, it looks really fun. I I really hope it has. I'm I'm pretty sure they say it has online multiplayer. And I can't wait to for this to be one of those games that we just get in a party together. Yeah, it does say. Yeah, it has it has a yeah, friends in a party. Multiplayer, yeah. yeah. So so <laughs> yeah, I, I I want this to be like one of those games where we just get together and just start building shit, you know and. Now that I'm 21, I can I can go, I picture myself going to a party and you know having fun with this if you know what I'm saying. I mean, maybe like like one, like one of the things that kind the one of the things that kind of disappointed me in one video I watched it was the one v one v one v one, like the four player battle or whatever. It's like because like if you start over stacking on one side of your tower, it's gonna fall. Mhm. Mm because it's all yeah. physics based. Yeah, and I thought like, or I was watching the one like the uh, the battle mode or whatever. This guy's tower is falling. I'm like. Dude, if it falls into the other person's tower and completely fucks them over, that's gonna be awesome. But no, it hit like an invisible wall and everything like disintegrated. Yeah. But I wish, you, I wish it could be because that could be like a strategy. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, just like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like if they're awesome. like, if, like if they're like right next to the line, they're like, oh god, they're gonna win. So I'm gonna topple my tower and take take a bit out of theirs. But I can see how they, I'm sure they probably mess with that and maybe it ain't as fun as I think it would be, but. Yeah, the game like I put down a maybe play for this on my mm -hmm. list. That's a definite play for me. Um, it looked yeah, it looks fine, but I mean, there's so there's there's have, have limited time and there's so much stuff going on. So. That's true. That's true. Like you got to get yeah. to the big stuff first, yeah. But um, like if if last PSX is anything to go by, I remember they were saying that the indie section was like packed and the AAA section was like, you know, kind of alone. So. Maybe, maybe well, you will. Then, the, like the indie section was place. packed because there's only like four four triple A games there. I mean, <laughs> true that, is, but pretty much that's yeah. what this looks like. True that, but you know, yeah, it's definitely indie heavy, which but, is awesome. I love indie. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where the games are at, man. That's where they're which, at. Which, uh, speaking of which, 
uh, I, I don't know if you can notice the theme, three of the games I've mentioned have been independent. Uh, moving on, the next game is Gang Beasts. Which Did you call Dark Souls independent, though? N- oh, well, this is the third game that I'm talking about. Okay. okay. This is the third game I'm talking about. Yeah, Dark Souls is, has a publisher. Has a Nam- Namco Bandai. Or Bandai Gang- Namco, however you pronounce it. Gang but, Beasts, uh, that's a double card game. Gang Beast has been on PC for a long time, obviously, but for those of us that are normal and play on consoles, uh, it's barely coming out to PS4, and I'm really yeah. excited. I've seen tons of videos of PC gameplay, and uh, I think it's on Xbox 360 also. What is, what is this thing? I'm not familiar. You're these little... Gummy bears looking things. Yeah, they, they look like little rag dolls, and you just got to fight. You can grab people, punch people. The point, the point of the, the game is to get them off the stage. And some of the stages are really cool. Like, there's a stage where you're on moving trucks, and you can, like, knock them off the truck. There's a stage where there's, like, yeah, meat grinders, and you can push someone into the meat grinder. So is this, this like, is really, a, it's really cool. updated version of um, Ragdoll Kung Fu? No. No, because that was like a fighting game. Like this is like, yeah. like you like 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 you want to get these people off the platform. Like mm-hmm. like there like, there's one where like you're like you're on a Ferris wheel. If you stand on on the base, like it's like on a pier, a pier or whatever. Mm-hmm. If you stand on the base too long, like, like the wood planks fall out. And so like it's it encourages you to move around and not just like like, like like maybe a little Smash Smash Brothers type thing, like where you go knock the people off the arena. Okay. It's it's baby's first Smash Bros, but I can see no, this no, no, like no, another no. party game where that I'm one thing that I, that I am disappointed by is there is no mention of uh, of online multiplayer. It's all local, so that's a uh, very 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 disheartening to hear. Yeah, I have that uh, four player fighting game. It's hilarious. I mean, I, I'm all for local space, play. I'm, I'm, I'm all for local play, but you got to add online in there too. Yeah, it calls it a couch co-op title. Mm-hmm. Which is yeah. fine. No, no, you don't have to add online. Is you don't have to, but like, there's games that would benefit so much from it. Like one of my favorite games that I played is, last year was Towerfall Ascension. That game play, screams. You can play that online. Can you? The, it's a loophole. It's called uh, share play. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean you, you can, but there's <laughs> always that little delay. I've done it. You always no, have no, 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 no. It works fine. I've done it. All right. You say so. I've done it, but yeah, oh, Towerfall so far. I've stayed up entire nights with oh, man. Towerfall. So I can envision the same thing happening with Gang Beasts. But yeah, it's, uh, I have Gang Beasts down as um, maybe co-op if, I, if I'm playing with people I know there. But The crew, yeah, man. Yeah. You got to play with the crew. Uh-huh. Yeah, but um, Gang Beasts looks fucking funny. That, that game's been out for like five years. <laughs> Yeah, it's not, yeah. PC, PC people and Xbox 360 owners are like, hey, well, PS4 owners were like, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, so the next game, continuing on my multiplayer trend here that I got started just with that last game, uh, <laughs> Kill Strain by Sony San Diego. I don't play MOBAs because I'm a normal person and play on consoles, and I don't think I'm gonna play this game, but I'm super duper interested to see. Just how it how it comes to fruition, how the community takes takes it, and what they do with it, you know, because it's a uh, very unique in that it's four v two v four. So it's uh you know, it's a control based. Obviously, it's a MOBA. Five, uh, so, sorry, five v two v five, and uh, obviously, two are gonna be overpowered. It, yeah, it it looks really cool. So it's like a MOBA, kind of like LOL League of Legends, but it's also a twin stick shooter in the vein of like you know the House Mark games. So it looks uh, it looks really cool. So um, you got you got uh, two teams of five are trying to gather resources, obviously, which is a MOBA and rack up kills. But then you got the third team is only two people, and it's mutants, and you're just trying to take out both teams. You're just you know the, the spread chaos. You just spread chaos, and so it looks awesome. Yeah, that does that does sound interesting. But uh, again, I'm not a MOBA player, so I'll, I'll look to see how it turns out. Uh, I'd, I'd like to see people that I trust, some of their impressions. Cause now, so, now, have you ever played I, a MOBA? No. Like I said, I'm, I'm a normal person. But then how do you know you're not a MOBA player? You never tried? Because, I don't, because I'm not a MOBA player. I'm not saying I'm not into MOBAs. I'm saying I'm not a MOBA player because I haven't played them. I can say I'm not a MOBA player because I haven't played a MOBA. By definition. I'm oh, not. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Now, <laughs> I, I watched one video on this. Hashtag Rick. Like, <laughs> I watched one video on this. The most exciting thing I've seen out of this video was... Uh, it was, it was like you said, Sony San Diego. Mm-hmm. It was their own video, mm-hmm. and Sky uh, Sky Diddy was in it. 
Okay, cool. Uh, you know who Sky Diddy is? No, I'm just saying, okay, cool. Okay. He, he he was on the last season of The Tester. Anybody remember the, the show Sony did? Wasn't that the PlayStation or? game that they had? No. Uh, it was sorry, a, PlayStation show that they had show. on PS3? Yeah. yeah, he was on the last season of it, and like as soon as he popped up, like, fucking Sky Diddy! Yeah! Like, he, he's just like the same motherfucker he was on the show, and it was great. Like, but well, That's something. Yeah, it was cool, but I'm not, I, I have... Mobile vibe, and I have nope with three exclamation points behind. It. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, I but have it. Uh, it, looks, it looks like a t t show, you know what I mean? It's, like I said, I'll be keeping an eye on it. I don't plan on playing it because again, I'm not a mobile off. player. But but yeah, I want to see it do well because mm -hmm. you know Sony San Diego, they're an awesome studio. They gave us Mod Nation Racers, which is what I really want to see. Get at mm, it. Sony San Diego didn't give us Mod Nation Racers. United Front Games did. It was published by Sony San Diego. This was published by Sony. Sony San Diego did the did the uh, Vita one or whatever the hell that was. I'm pretty sure Sony San Diego helped out on the mod. I'm gonna look this up right now. It was United Front Games. Yes, I know it was United Front Games, but it was through Sony San Diego. San Diego did the uh, Vita. Is somebody looking this up? Yes, one is. So stall, right stall for time. Yeah, see, developer. Oh no. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, right. Oh, that's a shame. You're right. Damn it, Bob. That's the last words we needed to hear. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, but they, still, the, the Vita version, even though it, like crap, it wasn't San Diego's fault. It's the Vita's fault. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I never played it. Cause it, it still tons of fun. Modern Nation Racers. Modern Nation Racers is, Nation Racers is fucking great. That's, like probably yeah. my, that's probably like my rarest platinum. You, pa you piece of shit. You platinum. I was a, I was a whore. I was horrible at Mod Nation races, but I loved it. Oh, then, you know, they didn't make a, they didn't make another one. They fucking cart games are great. Yeah, that game was so, fucking. Uh, I, so love, yeah, I love that. That, that love was next on my list. Yeah. Now moving on to my list, uh, a blast from everybody's past. Never Amplitude. Played. Yeah. Amplitude. Uh, uh, I loved Amplitude on the PS2. Never played it. I, I, I never played it, but not quite as much as I played Frequency, which was the first game that they made, Harmonix. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure if it's the first game they made, but it's the first game in that series they made, and Frequency was awesome. I would just spend days upon days upon days playing Frequency. I didn't know what the fuck was going on because I was like 10 years old, but it was awesome. I mean, and it looks so, cool. So yeah, I'm, 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 so I'm excited to see. Uh, it's a rhythm-based game where basically these little nodes pop up, and you got to be on the right node, hit the right button, and you know, as as you progress, the music gets, it, the, the, you know, the note streaks get longer. It's basically Guitar yeah. Hero without Guitar yeah. Hero. You're just using your controller instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I have yeah, fun with so, guitar. So, so, like, our demo is called what, what was that? Was that PSP Rock Band Road Trip? Rock Band Unplugged or something like or that. Unplugged. Yeah, that might be it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's basically what it is. Okay. Cool. But you got like a ship, and I don't know what that was. And I guess there ain't too many licensed tracks. I think the first one had all kind of shit in it. Yeah, I don't think there's gonna be too many licensed tracks to this, but you know, it's still gonna be good. I have down playing. I'm gonna check it out because I never played it. So I'm you should definitely, definitely gonna, check it out, man. You should I'm, definitely. Uh, it's on my list. Yeah. And I think that's also gonna be multiplayer. I'm not sure if it's gonna be online, but it's definitely gonna be. Oh yeah, def definitely, lo definitely local. Yeah. Yeah, four players locally. Uh -huh. Another Crazy. one to look forward to. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last game I'm lo I'm looking at, I just learned about today. It's called Thumper, which is also a rhythm game, and it looks really cool. Oh, it looks fucking rad. It looks like a fucking 80s fucking hair metal fucking uh, vinyl album cover. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it, looks, it looks really cool, I'm looking, man. I'm looking on here, and they call it a rhythm violence game. What yeah, that? But I have no idea what that means. One of the coolest things I'm reading here is that it's, uh, it says, <laughs> and nothing can prepare you for the ultimate confrontation with an insane giant head from the future, Crackhead. It, like, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah that's it, 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 it's like, it's like a fucking Iron Maiden fucking. Yeah. Like oh man, they got, like it looks rad. I'm fucking down, dude. That, it, it, like like I saw the trailer just before the podcast. It looks really cool. So I'm I'm really excited to see that one. If you could check that one out and come back with some impressions on. Oh that, no 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 cool. that that was one of, like my big because I I went through all these fucking games on their list that was playable, and that was one of my biggest surprises. Like I'm like holy shit, this I never heard of this fucking game. It looks fucking rad. It's Fuck, what I got down. Super slick looking highway rhythm game. Looks rad. Playing. That's my notes. For that. 
So yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah, it looks fucking. It looks beautiful too. Like it looks really fucking. Yeah. yeah. Like polished and pretty. Yeah, the and developers I mean, did a really good job on it. Like, and I guess, like, I guess each level you're doing this stuff. Like each note you hit sends like like you're on this highway thing to like a boss in the distance, and each mm -hmm. note you, each note you hit sends an attack to that boss. It's a crackhead. But then there's there's different there's a bunch of different ones. I only want to play against crackhead. Oh well. Go down the street. I'm sure you can fight one. <laughs> uh, not where I live. <laughs> but. Mm, that, that, I guess that's Juan's list. Yep, that is my list. Uh, very indie heavy, very small game heavy, with the ex with the ex uh, exception of Dark Souls Three. But no, I like um, it. That's good. That's a good list. I'm really excited for most of those games. It's, it's especially the one that I barely heard about like an hour ago, which is uh, Thumper. Oh, I know. That game looks fun. That game does look dead. That's one of my biggest surprises on the fucking list. Yeah, but if I had to pick one that I was most excited of on my list, it'd probably be. Uh, Tricky Towers, to be honest, dude. That one is so good. It's just a party game that I'm so excited to play. Okay.